I'm meteorologist Jared Piepenberg, and we're, we're going to be taking a look at the next couple of weeks with our general outlook. And it does appear that some warmer temperatures will be on the way. Some of us are going to have our first 90s of the summer season. That'll be for parts of the northern plains and upper Midwest. We'll take a look at how things are shaping up in terms of warm temperatures along with precipitation trend over parts of our region and where others may see some or may not. Take a look at the drought monitor as well. So that's, uh, that's uh, just kind of a general outlook of what we're going to be covering here over the next couple of minutes. Our upper level flow. This is what we're going to start off with here as we head toward uh, the, the end of the weekend into early next week. We are going to be seeing this ridge start to build in parts of the northern plains and upper Midwest as a trough in the upper atmosphere across the western coast will start to dig down. So Portland, Vancouver, parts of the Pacific Northwest will end up having some wet weather. It'll end up being just a little cooler in some places as well. Ahead of that wave, we'll have some brief warm temperatures early next week for parts of, of the plains, especially uh, up into the northern plains and upper Midwest. A few of us may start to see some of those first 90s uh, of the week sneak into the area and just of the of the season start to sneak into the area, but we'll have more along the way here. It appears later on in the month. Now, as we head toward midweek, that that trough in the upper atmosphere across the Pacific Northwest will track eastward. This will bring some precipitation trends uh, toward central parts of the plains, upper Midwest, northern plains as well, and then that will track eastward. Now, as we head toward next weekend and into next week, it appears that we'll have a shot at seeing another ridge build, maybe overdoing it here just a little, but that, that mid-month toward, uh, you know, three quarters of the way through uh, that month, we may end up seeing some of those uh, the hot temperatures finally arriving for some of us. All right, the precipitation trend here is that ridge uh, builds ahead of that trough in the west. We'll have the dry conditions over parts of the plains in the southeast. And it does appear that we'll have some wet weather about midweek or so as that trough in the Pacific Northwest late in the weekend, early next week, will track eastward. So this is what's uh, shaping up in terms of precipitation this week. And just zooming in a little closer, you can kind of see how that will, will transition for parts of the northern plains and upper Midwest in terms of the precipitation outlook. Now, as we head toward mid-month, you know, that, that six to 10 day outlook here, above average temperatures across the southeast, staying cooler with that trough in the Pacific Northwest. Now, as we head toward uh, the drought monitor here, things are still decent for parts of the northern plains and upper Midwest, where a lot of the dry conditions are still holding strong across the desert southwest and across California and the western part of the U.S. Precipitation outlook next week, still looking to stay a little below average across parts of the plains here. That's likely when we're going to see that heat return to parts of the region here and hold in place. And with that, really not seeing the, the precipitation outlook to be uh, as uh, dominant uh, with the temperature trend just staying above average in that mid to second half of this month.